a lot of fans are, you know, I've, all over social media just crazy excited for you as Pop Girl and, you know, more strong from the on television. Who were some of your strong icons growing up and also in the, in the industry? Um, like acting wise? No, I, you know, but, but personal, maybe in your family or, you know, in the, you know. Oh, my mom, first and foremost. Wow. She's, I mean, she's my rock, she's my everything, and the person I look up to the most in the entire world. She knows this. <laughs> um, uh, one of my big role models is Ella Fitzgerald. She's uh, amazing, obviously. Um, Frances McDormand. She's, I think she's a really fabulous actress, so, yeah. <laughs> what girl has, has kind of surfaced in, other than the comic book, there, yeah. are some, there are some iterations of her in animation and other forms. Do you do you look at any of those oh, yeah. for for anything? Oh yeah, I've been rewatching all of the Justice League uh, and the Man. I've been reading all sorts of comics. They were so nice; they sent me like huge packs that I'm still <laughs> going through. Um, and you know, I'm reading the Thanagarian version. I'm reading the New Fifty Two version. I'm just trying to get as much research as possible. I don't know what we're going to necessarily be using, um, but it'll it'll be good to know, you know, the origins of it all. Who is she at her heart? Do you think? Um, well, who's the girl you found in your research? Uh, I mean, I think she's she's a pretty like stoic kind of badass character um, a lot of the times, but I think she's also a very conflicted character. A lot of I feel like she's always kind of trying to to be within herself and and, and not kind of reach out to, to anybody else. But then obviously, as a human, <laughs> needs that, you know. Um, and I think also the conflict of like being reincarnated and feeling that there's these other lives and these other memories that are coming up. I think a lot of it is like she's just very torn between a lot of different angles of who she is. Do you expect that with time travel, the reincarnation plot will be a major motivator for you because you've got potentially, essentially, reliving traumas? Yeah, I think, I, I mean, I don't know how much I can share, but I, I think definitely we want to be able to kind of uh, tap into who she was in these different time periods because that's what we're doing. I mean, we're traveling all through the time periods trying to fix the timeline. So it's, it just seems plausible that we would run into her at some point. So that would be really cool and like it was such a great acting challenge to play all these different people within one. You know, it's going to be really cool. Uh, we, we did see you introduce other plots at very quick, you know, just seeing that, gi <laughs> that giant hole in the sky. No biggie. Yeah. And are you going to be showing up in the plot just, you know, because I guess if you're going to introduce yourself, you know, through the first half of season one of the plot just to get to know you. Yeah, I think there's going to be a, a lot of uh, crossover so that when we get to January, you already kind of have some backstory on who everyone is so you're not just, you know, swarmed with all of these new characters <laughs> or, or not new characters, but like, you know, full characters that have all these backstories and all these other things so that we can caught up, you know. Yeah, well, I'm stuck already. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of fight training are you going to get? Um, well, if you see my hands, I have a lot of scars already. I started Krav Maga, which is an Israeli martial arts, and I've been boxing for a couple of months, and I love, I love boxing. Love it. It's so fun. Um, but I'm, I'm, I want to try everything, you know, because I don't, at this point, you know, she knows every fight is out from being reincarnated so many times. She knows every funny song, so it's like, I want to try them all, and I want to be able to do as many songs as I can, so we'll see. <laughs> now, um, you know, Hangar, there's a big mythology that is so on. Will we, how much will we hint at, you know, that the mythology of her, like, will we, I don't know if we'll see Hawkman, but will yeah, she, you know, will she, how much of her memory will we actually get to see? I think, um, once she starts being able to kind of harness her powers, like, she's going to start being able to tap into what, what was past. So, I mean, I'm not sure necessarily, but it, definitely going back in time is going to help her, you know, rediscover things. Like, maybe there will be triggers. I don't know. It's kind of how it is with, like, you know, people who have amnesia or something like that. Things trigger it, and if we're going back into the time periods where she actually lived, you know, it's like, I'm sure that would awaken some, some new memories for her, so. What's the most appealing aspect about this show for you? Um, it's hard. I mean, just being a superhero is just, like, the coolest way to, like, start out. Like, I, you know, it's my first TV series, and I'm just like, of course, I'm a superhero. That's amazing. Um, but I, you know, I just think being in the hands of such amazing writers 
who already have two series that are just like the bomb. They're so good, and I've watched them now, and I'm just I'm I'm hooked. And I would have been even if I hadn't you know been a part of this. So that's just really amazing. And talking to them, they're really trying to be conscientious about giving everyone their their time. You know, you really get to meet every character and know every character intimately, so that when we see them working together or not working together, you understand it and, and the relationships are, are real and palpable and I think that's amazing. It's going to be an incredible acting challenge and I get to work with incredible actors. So. <laughs> I saw this work in theater, like how, can you, how has theater prepared you for you know, entering the world of television and so on because uh, I don't really get to hear much about that. Yeah, you know, there are some technical things that are obviously different about theater and TV, the theater can be big. Um, there's also a new strain of theater that's very contemporary um, and it's a lot more like TV and I feel like I've been lucky enough to do a lot of those kinds of shows. Um, but the, the acting and the research and everything underneath is exactly the same. So I think any acting you do is always going to be connected no matter what the medium is. What character do you think you're going to bond the closest with and which one is most likely to be kind of your antagonist? You know, I, I wonder about that. Um, I, re- I want, I mean, I want to be friends with Candace. <laughs> Who does that? I want to be a friends with Candace. Um, but as far as rubbing, I, it's hard to say just because I, I don't really know who she's who she is. I mean, I think there's who she is as a normal human is very different than who she is as this, uh, you know, age and power, you know, superhero. Um, so as a normal person, she's kind of, you know, she's a little, like, awkward and sweet and, like, not at all like that character. So I don't know who she's going to run against until I think she, like, really comes into her own. And then we'll have to see. So that's her off. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. The see they're also obviously launching a Supergirl. Wonder Woman is taking her place in the film franchise. Yeah. I, I mean, what are your thoughts on, on uh, that those, those events? coupled with your own experience and also to what extent do you think um, gender is shifting in, in our perception of what, what comic book and big big ticket superheroes are? Um, I'm loving all the girl power. I'm loving it. I love that there are more heroines. It's so cool to see like uh, comments and stuff saying like my daughter is so excited to see a female superhero because you just, you know, you don't see it and um yeah, I think I think there's such a demand for it now that we're finally going to start seeing it. Thank the Lord. So uh, yeah, I think it is definitely shifting it in a really good way. Have you yeah. had any mace training? No, no weapon training yet. It's hard with the problem about because you have to get to a certain level before you start using weapons. So I'm not there yet. <laughs> thank you. So great, great. Thank, thank you so much. much.